Hello guys and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name's Heather and I love colourful makeup. And today we're going to be having a look at the Beauty Bay Midnight palette. It's not going to be a full on review because we're a bit late to the game on this one. Um, it's just going to be this look here, some thoughts. Um, it's a kind of review, not really. But yeah, mainly a tutorial on how to do this look here. If you're interested in that, if you're interested in seeing how this palette performs or just want to have me on in the background while you're fanning around. Sorry Missa, stole you, same. If, yeah, if you want to just have me on in the background, if you want to just chill out on this Saturday, then please do keep on watching. Okie doke, so we are primed and ready using our Beauty Bay eye primer in shade 2 and then I keep debating doing what Mesa does and coming on with one eye done but then I would never remember what I did so I'm going to go into Midnight on a Beauty Bay B Blend Bunny B3 Stamp that out here above the crease so that when our eyes are open you can still see it. These brushes by the way are wonderful if you've got small or hooded eyes like me because they are quite small. But yeah we don't have a plan. We very rarely have a plan on this channel. Um. Then I'm going to take Voodoo on a Jessup 230 and just stamp right out here. If I remember rightly the Voodoo shade is a dupe from the Book of Magic. And this side is a lot neater than the other side, but that's fine. Because we're going to be blending it out anyway. I'm very off to the side. Um, and then I'm going to go in with the shade... Denim. On a PC22 and just start to buff out that first shade. How is everyone's Saturday going? I feel like that denim shade isn't dark enough to get from that darkest blue to where I want to go next. As much as that's coming up on camera. Let's change course and go in with Twilight. Which again I think is from one of the other palettes, I think, is it from Sunset Horizons? No, we'll go into some new shades. Um, then we'll go into Velvet. And we'll just start to buff this one up. How is everyone's Saturday going? I've been in a food shop, took the dog out, and now I'm here. And we're not going to look at the hair because I'm bleaching it after this. Um, and for those of you who watched my live last night, I did not get any staining, thankfully. Going to the shade C. On a, another, guess what, PC22. I have a proper horde of these now. <laughs> and now I just want some more pencil brushes. Just will work like this. And then let's go in, try to find some of the newer shades. Let's go into the shade Lollipop. What these have to do with midnight, I don't know. 
feel like they've just gone with whatever names they wanted. Although if they did actually come up with 42 names to do with Midnight, I would have been very impressed. Like, I feel like, like it was like that with all of the this release, is the names just didn't correlate to the theme whatsoever. Uh, let's go into the shade. Um, I feel like if I go really pastel, it's going to not work so let's go in with elixir just to give the chance of not getting a harsh line this is going very far up into the brow but we don't mind but yeah um i feel like the see the <laughs> Let's start the sentence again. The name goes with the theme of the palette. The names of the shades, no one. Uh, let's go into lilac. I feel like this outer has gone a lot lighter than the front because Voodoo is nowhere near as dark as that midnight shade. But that's fine. But yeah, I feel like they, the names just don't make any sense. And then let's go in with. I kind of want to go in with Periwinkle because that's a really interesting shade but I feel like it's going to go a bit weird, I might put that in the middle. Go in with Mist. Well, on videos like this you can literally see my cogs turning as I'm trying to work out what to do with this look. You just see the absolute blind panic Let's go in with that periwinkle shade for the middle I like the purple and the blue meat yeah I like that I like that a lot let me just go back in with I don't know if I can actually pick up the brush because my camera stand was getting in the way I just need to take this higher because the outside is definitely higher. Yeah, like when I was watching Kerry's video and she was like, sofa, really made me, I think I mentioned that in my last video, it really made me laugh. But. Yeah, like, I don't, I don't know what half these name shades have to do with any of it but before well so that's what matters they want to give them weird names they can give them weird names I feel like Everyone's been talking about them, but some people haven't even had their delivery yet, which is quite frankly disgusting. Like, I know a lot of my um, non UK friends haven't even had a dispatch yet, which, if you ask me, is ridiculous. Gonna be in the middle of changing warehouses and stuff and etc etc but don't do a big release like this when you're in the middle of changing warehouses if you're not gonna be able to keep up with orders and stuff 
like oh, my light brush. just because they're not in the same country you doesn't mean that they're not that they shouldn't be a valued customer like I got I got mine next day but I am in the same city <laughs> as Beauty Bay or at least I don't know where the new warehouse was but I at least was in the same city I'm just waffling on while I'm trying to get these to blend. Okay, I'm going to go cut my crease and back in a sec. Okay, cut creases on. I'm happy-ish with the shape. I'm not going to use glitter glue this time because when I did the other day, using Berry's palette, my eyelids look like wrinkly eye. Look like wrinkly balls. So... We're gonna spray them so they are still gonna be boily but I'm not gonna use eye primer like glitter glue you know what I mean now I just need to decide what shades to use now this one called electric looks quite nice I'm pretty sure Jen wanted me to use this one Bubbles, potion, I think I might save this one for my inner corner, oh I don't know, what's that scary one like, she's my thumb, <laughs> I think that one actually might make quite a nice contrast Let's... like that electric one looks really nice in the pan and as I wiped it on my white but it just didn't look that nice on the finger let's have a look what else we've got we've got Queen Galaxy no the other purpley ones are shouting to me Ocean. That one's interesting. Mm. That one's quite nice. That one was Queen. Um, might do Shield then Queen, but that Galaxy shade. I think it's Galaxy. No, it's Ocean. That Ocean shade. Quite interesting. That'd be quite nice with just like a smoky eye. Okay. I'm gonna stop debating now. I guess I'm having a conversation with you guys. Like you guys can talk back to me and tell me what I need to do. You remember that I'm not live at this moment in time. So we're gonna go for shield. The usual putty formula. Let's hope that we're not going to get wrinkly ball sack today. Take that. I'm getting barely anything from that one. I have to be in a corner shade. After spraying it. Yeah, that's definitely more of a topper shade. That's going to be in a corner. So, let's change tact. Thinking these two together. Oh. Which one, which one? Yeah, okay. Like I said, you can literally see cogs turning. Go in with potion. It's like cosmic shoes. Ooh. You can tell I've not played with this palette yet because I'm literally just like, ooh, this shade, ooh, this shade. 
this is bubbles should I have swapped these over maybe is it too late yeah Yeah, these seem to be going on a little bit better than the berries palette did. I don't think Angelica's gonna like these shimmers very much. But yeah. Mm. You might have something else. Go in with Queen, which is a really nice purple. Just using a Jessup 237, by the way. I keep nearly going into the electric shade by mistake. Yeah, I might add something over the top of these. Just because although the pretty it's not giving me what I want. Not that I know what I want ever. I'm not loving these so far. That makes me sad because I do normally love Beauty Bay's shimmer formula. Right. Let me just... Mm, might take this out further. I don't know. I don't know if I like this. I've also not climbed out this far, I don't think. It's fine. It'll be fine. Um, let's just take this further. Because why not? This Saturday, we don't have anywhere else to be. Hoping to get up today. So it'll still be a Saturday <laughs> when I'm posting this. Okay, let me go into my base. Maybe add, I don't know. But yeah, back in a second. Okay, so this eye looks significantly more shiny than when we left. That is because we've added a bit of the Mermaid's Pigment from Peaches and Cream over it because I just wasn't getting what I wanted from these shimmers like the difference. Let me just zoom in. Look at the difference between the two. So that's just where we're at at the moment. Face is done ish, happy ish with it. So I'm just gonna take a teeny tiny bit of NYX Glitter Glow on my finger and just tap it all over the lid. So these are coming off onto my finger, but that's fine. I'm gonna take a different finger. I'm gonna put this all over it. Like I mean, the 
pay off straight away. Makes a huge difference, in my opinion. But you're on my channel, so you're gonna hear my opinion. Yeah, I'm not happy with it with that pigment on there. I'm just gonna close that because it doesn't have one of those little plasticky things on top to make things harder to spill. I've just got visions of the doorbell going and Logan running and because there's wires it just go terribly. Okay. Now I'm going to merge this in with the purple. I'm just gonna take Voodoo again. I'm just gonna bring that down. Should have done the pigment before my base, probably, but it is too late now. But for that can be fixed, it's fine. It's actually my first time using that pigment and I'm very impressed with it. I bought a few from Peaches and Cream that I haven't used yet. And then, as promised, Jen, shield on the inner corner. And I think that's going to look a bit a lot lost it compared to what else is going on. Like, I'm really struggling to pick this up on a brush. Like, there's just barely anything. Um, that's a really dense brush. Let me take my pinky. Stamp it in there. that brush just wasn't doing it. Okay, let's get back to the outer corner. I thought I'm looking at that shine. I'm such a magpie. And then I'm gonna go back through my blending shade when I can find the right brush because there's no room on this desk. Go lollipop. Lollipop, oh lolly 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 lollipop. Ba -dum 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 -dum. Should we follow a lash line? I think I'll just take the same colours underneath. Might be a good shelf. It's not got to be so dramatic when you show yourself on the floor. Yeah, it would be cool. A liner with a... Uh, got... I actually brought Pegasus out from Pastel Roses. That might be cool. Or I do have double denim. Or is that going to be too... Too shiny? thinking I don't know how this pigment's gonna go with the old uh, eyelash glue and then let's go for C on the under eye just there and then Bit more lilac. If I was brave enough, I would definitely use one of the purples as a blush, but I am not that brave today. Maybe another day. I'm not hating this.
It's obviously what you want to hear. <laughs> if you want to copy a tutorial. Not that I think anyone actually ever follows my tutorials. I appreciate it if you do. And then let's just take a bit of that mist shade just for here. Okay, I might throw some liner on. I might not. So I'm gonna do lips, liner, lashes, and be back in a sec with my final thoughts. Okie doke, here's the final look. I think I'm okay. Um, lips are a mix of Originator by Maybelline and Agave from Kaleidos, um, originated just poured a bit too far on the pink side of purple so I had some blue to get it to go to that side. Um, lashes are from Ace Beauty, there's no name on them, all it says is Ultra Glam Lashes, don't know. I uh, ended up adding liner and inner corner wing. I was debating adding another pigment but then I thought it's just, it's enough. Um, I was debating doing a lot of things to be fair just to try and spice this up I was debating blue lashes I was debating more pigments debating glitter but I need to stop so I stopped um yeah so midnight palette the mattes are as good as I'm used to from Beauty Bay. There's loads of shades in here. You guys know this already. You've seen this palette probably a hundred times by now. Um, I'm very happy with how everything performed. The shimmers, I don't know. They just didn't blow my socks off like I'm used to from Beauty Bay. Um, same with the Berries palette. I didn't really use a shimmer during the earthly palette video I sort of tapped one over the top as like a topper but not really expecting it to stand out on its own hence the addition of the pigment um, I don't know I was just a bit disappointed with the shimmers they're not as sparkly as I wanted like obviously I'm not comparing them to the pigment because the pigments obviously gonna shine better because it's a loose pigment um but i don't know i just feel like compared to some of the shimmers from book of o book of magic no it's a book of opulence book of magic age of opulence stuff like that wilderness i'm just a bit disappointed and i wish i wasn't but i'm still very happy to have the palette because of the sheer amount of mattes that are there, um, it's going to go very nicely with the rest of my Beauty Bay palettes. I know a few people have been debating um, getting rid of their all limited edition ones, I'm not going to do that because I'm just not. And yeah, that's us. Um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up down below. If you want to see more of me, um, I'm trying to upload more. I don't actually have a schedule at the minute because Um, that's just my life at the minute. Uh, so yeah, if you want to see more of me, please subscribe. All my socials will be down below. If you want to go and check out my Instagram, I'm a bit more active on there. Um, my TikTok is down there as well, but I very rarely post because normally I do video, take pictures, and wipe it off. I completely forget to take a TikTok. So yeah, <laughs> that's just my life. Um, yeah. That's us done. Have a nice Saturday and I'll see you guys in the next one.